Hey, 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 you beautiful twin flames, and welcome back to Tarot for You 444. I'm so delighted that you could join me today. I want to talk today a little bit more about the Divine Masculine and what he's going through at this time. I know many of you haven't heard from your counterparts, and those of you that have may be receiving um, some very uh, I don't know, you may be getting communication but it might be feeling very distant and so I kind of wanted to explain that today. Um, so let me get into the reading. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about the differences between the divine feminine energy and the masculine energies as well. So I might start with that as my key point is that the divine feminine uh, and of course this is just the energy so take gender how it resonates but the divine feminine comes from a place of emotion and she wears in general uh, she wears her heart on her sleeve and she wants to feel the connection and she wants to perhaps even talk about the connection with other with other divine feminines or other people who understand and eventually she may also want to talk about the connection with her divine masculine she may be tempted to say something like you know you're my twin flame or um <clears throat> wow <laughs> divine masculine coming through <laughs> kind of going <clears throat> you know interesting uh, so anyway she wears her heart on her sleeve and he wants to communicate to her today that this is something he truly loves about her is the fact that she is not like all of the others that he's met you know the difference is you know she's willing to listen she's willing to have conversations uh, that aren't sort of naggy or intrusive you know she's willing to listen and he wants to acknowledge that today but he also wants to say his piece about how he's feeling so the divine masculine comes from this place of feeling emotion in the root chakra as opposed to the divine feminine who feels it in the heart chakra. So, you know, quite often, uh, you know, when he's not feeling good, uh, when he's lost some kind of power in his karmic world, he will get, you know, a stomach upset um, which may cause you know problems in the other chakras as well I'm really guided to talk about chakras for some reason but anyway the the divine feminine follows her feelings and they come from this heart chakra this heart centeredness that she kind of prides herself on and so when he's not offering much or when he's not uh, you know acting the way he used to or or giving much she feels in general that she's done something wrong and so she may find that she becomes disinterested in life in general she may find that she's not as motivated uh, she may feel because remember divine feminine is coming from this feeling space she may feel that the love was there once and she's done something to make it go away so this is what occurs for the divine feminine in the separation period she really feels like you know wow you know we came together originally there was this perhaps mask wearing of the divine masculine um, where you know she was unsure about how he felt 
he may have come across in a sexually passionate way but there was no committal commit a uh, commitment she's looking for a commitment divine feminine is willing to you know sort of do anything and everything for this commitment and so she can't understand why he's not willing to do the same so for right now the divine masculine may be coming across to you divine feminine as he's hiding something there's this definite deception energy here um this feeling of you know he's wearing a mask not a literal mask but a mask that's sort of not showing his true colors as he might normally do you know maybe before he was texting more often and now he's not or maybe before he was more passionate and now he's not or maybe before there was this you know real giving of his heart and now there's not and so it's a really strange feeling it's like this period of um i don't know what do they call it the honeymoon phase you know it's like it's like everyone says that after a year you know the the man and woman kind of lose a little bit of that spark because it's just not there anymore and so <clears throat> divine feminine can really feel this coming through either in her heart chakra or her throat chakra and her intuition isn't as on point as it might usually be because of these blockages in the chakra so she knows she still loves the divine masculine but she can't work out either he's why he's communicating in a different way or why he's just you know maybe coming up with you know I'll, I'll text you next week and not coming in and etc all right so what's going on here is that the divine feminine has been quite exhausted uh, take it how it resonates for you divine feminine either mentally physically or emotionally exhausted either one of those three or all of those three but this exhaustion has caused her to not really take care of herself as much as she might do so you know Christmas was one of those times where many divine feminines may have been rushing around doing extra things you know coming into the new year there's you know always things that happen in the new year as well and so her focus upon herself you know even though she i mean she'd still be eating and you know she's still alive right <laughs> but mentally physically and or spiritually there's something missing okay and so divine masculine can feel this this point of missing here so he feels that there's something not quite right with divine feminine and he doesn't know what it is that's making him stay away or not come in with you know the usual big messages take it how it resonates everyone's situation is going to be different but and we can talk you know in terms of 5d communication or or real you know third dimensional reality communication here but it's like he's conserving his energy so it's like if i come in now she's not really in a great place and it's not really going to serve us to come together now so he kind of is stays away out of courtesy it's kind of like if i put this scenario to you it's like a scenario of you know if someone told you that they've got the flu let's not use the flu let's use i don't know um i don't know let's say someone's got measles <laughs> all right and they say you know energetically he kind of feels like the divine feminine has got measles you know there's these spots that she needs to get rid of <clears throat> before she feels good enough to come together 
many of the divine feminine have had physical illnesses as well like for real for real you know and you know physical illness is always a state of being off balance in some way shape or form so whether that's physical mental or spiritual um you know being off balance will create an illness and this is why i constantly talk about you know don't ever close off your heart chakra you know you can be pissed off for a minute but keep your heart chakra open you know don't close your don't close yourself off for fear of getting hurt it's much better to be open and do <laughs> i was talking about the barbie and ken frequency if you haven't seen that video it's literally a picture of barbie and ken and they're walking in the holy land but go and check that video out because that'll explain what i mean when i talk about the barbie and ken frequency <clears throat> wow divine masculine wants to say some things now so if you feel like divine feminine as i shuffle the cards here for the divine masculine if you feel like your divine masculine's not coming in like he usually does or there's some kind of disconnect here it's because he senses you not feeling great you know and so he's giving you space energetically he's giving you space and of course the divine feminine may say well i don't really want to have space because when i'm not feeling great mentally physically emotionally spiritually right whichever way it might be she really wants to have someone but in his mind <clears throat> and remember the divine masculine is logical in his mind he wouldn't want anyone around him while he's not feeling well so he kind of is you know perceiving this from his own perspective of well if i wasn't feeling well if i had the measles i'd want to get better first before i came into communication <clears throat> wow he's got some things to say to you now though yeah we've got the eight of wands in reverse here many of them not wanting to come in with a message they can feel energetically that you need to just be left alone you know there's no point coming in while the divine feminine isn't feeling right <laughs> which is the opposite of what the divine feminine actually wants herself interesting isn't that interesting okay so we've got this he's not real like if the divine feminine's judging him for not coming in he's unaware of it he might have a little inkling like oh maybe she might be a little bit annoyed that i'm not coming in but surely she understands that you know i'm just kind of waiting for the right time so his perception of what's going on right now and her perception of what's going on right now can be completely different and so he keeps his messages to himself right there's a lot of messages he wants to bring but he keeps them to himself he's also having a time of trying to go within trying to understand some things about himself and there's a need for the divine feminine to really go within and do some meditation or some yoga practices if she's not already a need here to take care of oneself he's not feeling his normal horny self either this is you know like normally he expresses love through sex and many of them are really focused upon their future right now you know what is the universe bringing me what can i bring to the universe how can i manifest a happy home a place that i feel safe in and so their focus is a lot on work 
and also balancing themselves. <clears throat> wow. Divine masculine. Some of them have also got a cold or mm, okay throat chakra issues here for for me because divine masculine is not speaking his truth so there's something he wants to tell you which may trigger you divine feminine and i'll i'll tell you what that is now so just be aware i've put the trigger warning out there and i'm not doing it to do that but you know this is what he actually wants to say so just you know if you're not in the mood to be triggered maybe watch this later or don't listen at all okay interesting you know it's kind of like he's saying should i say this or not should i say this or not like he doesn't he doesn't want to rock the boat but he's gonna yeah here we go all right so hold on to your handbags girlfriend <laughs> divine feminine hold on to your handbag okay so the first message is you know sometimes divine feminine you don't realize that i'm going through some stuff you know, I can't always communicate with you when you need me because the pe some of the people I'm either working with or spending time with are really off balance and very judging to me. So, so they, you know, they can be judgmental of me. They're expecting, you know, they have expectations of me. And there's this, this place i'm trying to do i'm trying to like put an end to what what i don't think serves me anymore and i'm trying to manifest a great life and this is why i'm spending so much time working either working on himself or working you know at a physical job somewhere and then he says but you know i don't always feel a hundred percent either so right now I'm not feeling guided to come in. Like I'm feeling your energy judging me like the people around me are judging me. This message is not for everyone today, by the way. So not only, he's saying, not only do I have the toxicity in my life of these other people but then I'm also feeling that your energy is cut off from me because maybe you're not having such a great time yourself and so you know I'm kind of looking for that future time when we might get to spend time together when we're both feeling a little bit better you know divine masculine doesn't want to come to you when he's at his worst you know, it's like imagine you were on a dating, a dating show and they were filming and, you know, you had a massive pimple on your nose <laughs> and there's just nothing you could do about it. You know, you just wouldn't want to go on the show, would you, on TV, you know, every, there's going to be 10 billion viewers watching. And so he's kind of like... Well, I know she's not feeling that great herself right now, either mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally. I can sense that energy. I can sense her heart chakra being blocked off right now. You know, maybe she's not pissed off at me, but maybe she's pissed off in general with what's going on around her. And then he's like, well, I'm kind of exhausted and there's judgmental people around me and I'm not having the best of times. You know, it's kind of toxic. So we're both going to come together, you know, with big pimples on our noses, you know, like you've got measles and I've got a pimple on my nose. It's really not the best time. So that's kind of what's going on. For some of them, they do have another person in their life, a feminine energy 
take that how it resonates for you it could be a mother it could be a cousin it could be a sister it could be a lover it could be a wife and they're highly confused about this relationship you know they're just you know it's not been the most fun that they've ever had let's put it that way it's like they feel like they're rowing a sinking boat you know and then there's the money factor the money is always you know the factor for most divine masculines they're working hard for the money you know that song is coming she works hard for the money but change it change the gender to who it suits right he works hard for the money there's this real feeling of you know 2020 happened and now we have to do 2021 is it just going to be a rinse and repeat cycle you know he wants to come out and talk to you soon and many of them did want to do that around christmas time if they didn't talk to you around christmas time they really actually meant to but something got in the way and divine feminine if you're not aware what you do in this connection energetically is so important so if you've got a closed off heart chakra it will keep them away and of course this is why i've made my uh, twin flame package ascension package and also my manifesting course and now you can also ask 20 questions uh, you can send me your 20 questions and i'll answer them for you uniquely all right it'll be a two hours of recording answering your 20 questions so that's something new that i've brought to the channel because it matters what you do in the 5d and it also matters what you do in the 3d so you know maybe you're great at meditation maybe you're great at yoga maybe you're great at prayer maybe you're great at keeping your heart chakra open in general and being kind and loving and all of those wonderful things but then when your divine masculine comes to you in the 3d you're confused about it or you don't know what to do and I've been studying men and women and, and also the Twin Flame journey for a lot of years now. And so this is why I'm offering these services so that you can finally know what to do. Because it's one thing to manifest them or to connect with them in the ethereal realm. You know, working on yourself, doing that whole Barbie and Ken frequency where, you know, you put on a different outfit and you doing whatever you're doing you're working on yourself you're working on your career you're you know you're trying to do that but then when they come in in the third dimensional reality you kind of go Ugh, what do I do you know he said that and I don't know what to say or he wants this or he doesn't want this or you know he came in and then he ghosted me and what the hell's going on you know it can be really confusing so that's what I've done to break this down for many twin flames so that you know not only do you know what to do in the ethereal realm you know how to connect with them that way but you'll also understand that when they come to you in a certain way you know when they ask you that question or when they behave a certain way what do you do about it you know that's a proactive approach so right now you know metaphorically speaking the divine masculine feels like he's got a big pimple on his nose and he doesn't really want anyone to see him like that because he's kind of exhausted not feeling very sexy not feeling mm, you might be getting small messages but it's not going to be like that big show that he might have been doing in the past and divine feminine you know you're kind of sending off that energy like you've got the measles and so he's kind of like well i'll just leave her be so she can get over her measles without me when really divine feminine would really like to go through this whole measles thing holding someone's hand the other thing i wanted to say is that some divine feminines are going through the dark night of the soul right now and this will translate into uh, mental physical emotional or spiritual illness in some kind of way 
and so I just wanted to bring that to to your attention as well um, you know make sure you're taking care of yourself you know first and foremost you're not going to be good to anyone if you're not taking care of yourself and if you need tips on how to do that um, that's why I made my ascension course because even if your twin flame is in separation with you and has been for some years you know the importance is that when they do come back around you're going to be in a place where you are whole enough to accept them you know you don't really want to have the measles when they come in you know what I mean in a spiritual way alrighty so apparently I've said all that needs to be said today but there is this off balance feeling coming from both divine feminine and masculine and this is why there is separation occurring at this time or limited limited communication alrighty so take care of yourself and each other if you want to do the magic 20 questions please contact me via email I'm doing readings as well um, over the holiday period I'm also doing um, uh, you know my packages and uh, also accepting donations for charity if you're guided to do that um, you know as part of your own spiritual journey or as an energy exchange that would be really delightful uh, for the channel I help lots of people um, who need help and I also have a prayer list if you want to put your name on the prayer list so that's kind of uh, the business kind of side of things um, basically if you want anything from me just contact me via my email and we can go from there you know even if you're not sure what you need at this time we can have a little talk about that difficult time for twin flames uh, at the moment some twin flames that have managed to kind of purge these uh, cycles uh, in having good communication at the moment I just wanted to add that uh, but many of you are having disconnected communication at this time um, or you know it's just not not as good as it used to be <laughs> you know like the bubble love phase ended or you're feeling you know the sparks gone Alrighty, have a beautiful day, night, afternoon, evening, evening or morning, wherever you are in the world. And I hope to bring you, uh, like I say, I hope to bring a video every day, but sometimes it's every second day, depending on what other things and, you know, how many people are needing my services. Okay, so have a, uh, yeah, have a great day. Bye.